Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Expect to be thrilled, excited, and my personal favorite, scared even a little bit by some of today's clips. Without wasting too much of your precious time, let's jump right into it. There are wonders all around the world. Each day, humans are presented with something new to discuss. This clip captures the astonishing moment when a group of men from a native village stumbled upon a peculiar creature while fishing along the riverside. The creature has a bluish body, a pair of human-like arms and legs, and a head resembling an alien. The concept of extraterrestrial life has long captured the human imagination, fueled by countless accounts of unidentified flying objects and alleged encounters. The possibility that this entity might be a product of human experimentation in a laboratory couldn't be dismissed either. With advances in genetic engineering and bioengineering, the line between science fiction and reality has blurred, giving rise to ethical concerns about the creation of hybrid organisms. So is this one of the said aliens or something whipped up in a lab? If you thought that was bizarre, then you need to see this next clip. People have been capturing footage of these strange black smoke rings, and the weird thing is, they're popping up in different parts of the world. Now, some suggest that the logical explanation might be fireworks or lightning, but according to those who witnessed these smoky circles in the sky, there was no trace of fireworks or lightning anywhere in sight. So what could it be? Do these rings have anything to do with the recent surge in aliens and UFO sightings? Perhaps some kind of interdimensional portal opening up right above us? No one knows. Skeptics, however, suggest that these rings might be a natural occurrence that has only recently caught our attention due to the prevalence of smartphones and cameras. If you were to ask me, that's just a poor attempt to be logical, but hey, what do I know? And you know, I definitely won't move on to the next clip without asking what you think. So what do you think? Let's take a look at this next footage. Here we have a creature that looks like a collection of tangled twigs. Now, imagine walking into a place and seeing twigs slithering about. If that doesn't scream scary and creepy, then I don't know what would. Now, the big question on everybody's mind, what in the world is this thing? Some are throwing around the idea that it might be a parasite or some kind of symbiotic creature on the prowl, wiggling about in search of a host. I mean, who wouldn't be a little unnerved by a creature that's black, wiggly, and seemingly on a mission? With little to no information on this thing, we're only left with speculations on what this could be. But what do you guys think we're dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Embarking on a mysterious journey deep in the woods of Scotland, our attention is drawn to a hunter's startling discovery. At first glance, the creature lying there appears to be some kind of monkey. But as our explorer inches closer, he's hit with a sight that's jaw-dropping than any game he's probably ever hunted. The creature has the ears of a bat, and its mouth is slightly open, showing razor-sharp teeth. This is not a creature that eats fruits for breakfast. Naturally, this discovery has the internet buzzing with speculation. Some folks are throwing around the wild idea that it could be a baby werewolf, while others are leaning toward a hybrid of some sort. So here's the million dollar question. What in the world is this creature? Is it a character straight out of folklore tales, or did the hunter stumble upon the real deal? Turning our gaze toward the heavens again, a mystery unfolds in footage capturing three mesmerizing glowing orbs suspended in the sky. At an unknown location, three glowing orbs were spotted in the sky. 
They were an orange hue and were in the formation of a triangle. Now, that alone would be enough to raise a few eyebrows, right? But here's where it gets even stranger. As these mysterious lights move, something peculiar catches the eye. It's as if these glowing orbs are all part of one cohesive unit, dancing in perfect harmony. The triangular formation remains intact, so what are we looking at? Some are entertaining the idea that there is something beyond human comprehension at play, an extraterrestrial presence or an advanced technology that surpasses our current understanding of aerospace. So here we are, faced with another enigma in the cosmos. We've all heard of the company Tesla by Elon Musk. This company has achieved a lot of technological milestones to a point that it seems scary. Even Elon Musk himself has said so. In this footage, we can see a Tesla robot being handed a hat and a gun. The robot shoots the gun at a Tesla car to test if the car is bulletproof. After that, another robot comes out of the car unharmed. While the demonstration showcases impressive advancements in technology and automation, it also sparks a contemplation of the implications. The ease with which the robot handles the gun raises questions about the evolving capabilities of artificial intelligence. The seamless execution of tasks by these robots brings to mind the concept of singularity point where AI could surpass human intelligence, prompting both awe and a tinge of unease. That's if the video was true at least. I must say, it had me in the first half, but this has to be one of the most impressive CGI's I have ever seen. Unless, of course, it's truly real. Can anyone confirm? Here is another footage of a robot taken in Russia. We witness a human in a boxing ring against a formidable opponent, a robot. As the match unfolds, it becomes apparent that the odds are stacked in favor of the mechanical contender. The man launches his attack and the machine defends easily, but when the robot attacks, it lands two perfect punches that leave the man out cold. Is it that they are out of human players or just wanted to watch a person get beat up? Because this is clearly not a fair fight. Once again, everyone wants us to believe that this is real. But my assistant showed me the original video. And I must state, this is just impressive CGI. Our next adventure takes us to the riverside in Thailand, where an extraordinary spectacle has captivated the villagers. A massive creature with a colorful fin emerges atop the river, drawing the attention of the enthralled audience. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Amidst the gasps and whispers, the villagers are all chanting one name, Naga. In Thai folklore, Naga is a revered sea god, often depicted as a serpent-like deity with mystical powers. But among skeptics, some attributed the sighting to a dragon, drawing upon mythical imagery, while others offered a more pragmatic interpretation, suggesting it could be an oversized fish. What do you think it is? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribe, or even dropped a comment so far, could you do so now? It goes a long way to help us to make more of these kinds of videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Embarking on a mysterious journey to the heart of the Babala forest in Brazil, a group of hikers stumble upon a chilling discovery. A lifeless creature lying in their path. Its skin was very pale and its body resembled that of a bipedal being. But then, you never know these days with all the weird things happening. Looking at this creature, we have no idea what it could be or how it even got there. The residents of the area were alarmed by this finding and marked it as an omen and a sign of impending doom. Our narrative takes an otherworldly turn as we journey to Japan, where a peculiar incident has left onlookers baffled and intrigued. 
There was a strange structure captured in the sky. It looked like some sort of a pillar, and from that pillar, strange objects flew out. This looks like something ripped from the pages of a sci-fi script, where aliens come to Earth on a mothership that has smaller ships in it. Could that be the situation here? Because I don't think humans now have the technology to build structures in the sky. We're not quite there yet, so this leaves us with the lingering possibility that it could be an alien mothership. Now, before we label it a crazy theory, let's acknowledge that the world is full of mysteries and sometimes reality can be just as mind-bending as fiction. What are we looking at here? This strange exhibition in a museum has left everyone perplexed. We can see what looks like three human hands attached to a bicycle. The hands are covered in black, long gloves, so we do not know what lies beneath them. Two of the arms are on the ground, I guess serving as the legs, while the third one is in the sky making the rock on sign with its fingers. It's like someone unleashed a surreal puppet show on an unsuspecting audience. Speaking of the audience, they're not just intrigued, but downright baffled. The covered arms making the whole scene a mystery, making it impossible to tell if these limbs are mechanically crafted or, dare I say it, possessed by some otherworldly force. And you know it's got people talking when the speculation meter swings all the way to the possessed object theory. But what do you guys say this is? Venturing to the beach on a sweltering afternoon, a man sought respite from the heat. But what he stumbled upon left him more heated than the scorching sun. Among some rocks under a seaweed, he saw something strange. So he picked it up, only to come face to face with a miniature skeleton of what looked like a mermaid. The skeletal remains had a combination of a human upper torso and a fish-like lower part. The shock of this unexpected encounter made the man promptly drop the mysterious carcass. Now here's where it gets juicy. Do you think this is a long-awaited confirmation that mermaids are more than just legends, or could it be an elaborate prank played on unsuspecting beachgoers? Well, 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 the mystery deepens as a trail camera working its night shift in the heart of the forest captures a peculiar creature that's enough to send shivers down your spine. A creature with a long, crooked neck. This creature we are seeing on the screen is what people call the campy monster. The term Champy is often associated with Champ, the legendary lake monster said to inhabit Lake Champlain primarily in the United States and Canada. Champ has been a subject of local folklore and legend, with reported sightings and accounts stretching back for decades. Descriptions of Champ often include a long-necked creature resembling a plesiosaur, a group of prehistoric marine reptiles known for their distinctive long necks and flippers. Could this be one of them? In Japan, a homeowner bought a house that was haunted. He has records of ghostly activities in the house, and the most shocking of all is this footage here. He put two toilet papers on a stick and placed them on the walls of the stairway. That part of the house has a lot of activity, so watch what happens to the rolls. In a few moments, an unknown force grabs onto the rolls and starts to pull. This footage has been studied and confirmed to not be edited. This man should leave that house, unless he's friends with the ghost haunting the house. Well, then good for him. In the vast skies above Venezuela in 2023, a group of mesmerized onlookers captures a celestial show that challenges the norms of the ordinary. Initially, a fleet of radiant objects was spotted hovering in the night sky like otherworldly gems. 
However, the spectacle takes an astonishing twist as these celestial wonders undergo a spell-binding metamorphosis. Slowly but surely, the luminous objects transform into what can only be termed sky snakes. What's your take on this sky show? Alien acrobats or an elaborate light display with a serpent twist? Our journey into the mysterious takes another chilling turn as we delve into security footage from a parking lot. The seemingly routine scene unfolds with a van driving by, yet, as it fades from view, an inexplicable event occurs. Out of thin air, a mysterious man materializes in the middle of the parking lot. There was no one there, but after the van drove by, a man appeared out of nowhere and walked away. How was that even possible? Did he teleport there or what? Share your thoughts. A hiker while in the mountains spotted something strange walking in the forest below. At first glance, the figure resembled a human, but upon closer inspection, subtle indications of dark fur all over the body emerge. The tantalizing possibility arises, could this elusive being be the legendary Bigfoot? Looking at the size of the creature from that distance, there is a high chance that is a Bigfoot, but then again, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt because humans can be very dubious sometimes. What's your take on this mountain encounter? A genuine Bigfoot sighting or just a brush with the shadows of the wild? Or a hoax? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, can you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you now, would you? Mermaids have been talked about for years with various sightings here and there. Yet, there are still a few things that make humans pause and question if these creatures are real or if they're just characters we made up for our fairy tales and bedtime stories. However, it's footage like this that leaves us questioning if these creatures are real or not. Some people went to the Yukon River to fish when they spotted this creature that fits the mermaid description swimming by. The creature had long black hair with a silvery fish tail but it calmly swam by. From various stories I've heard of these creatures, they're mostly hiding from humans, but not this one. It's actually approaching the fisherman. That and the graphic fidelity of the footage make the credibility of this encounter a little fishy. I'm willing to bet that I'm not the only one who thinks this footage might be a hoax. What about you? Don't be shy. Whilst in an aircraft, someone filmed this strange thing in the sky. It's a glowing circle with white, smoky edges. These things have been appearing all over the world. They look like some sort of portals, but scientists have not yet come out to address them. No official statements, no explanations. It's like the scientific community is just as perplexed as the rest of us, leaving the door wide open for wild theories and endless questions. Now, it's got people buzzing with speculation. Are we witnessing some interdimensional phenomenon? Could these be portals opening up in the sky? And if they're portals, where do they lead to? Quite recently, there was a commotion in Miami, and the whole situation can be attributed to a suspected alien sighting in the region. Various images have since been going around, but it seems these photos might be one of the clearest. There you can see the creature, about seven to eight feet tall, walking. According to the owner of the footage, the creature was very visible for one moment and then started to become transparent until it finally vanished. Residents from the area have confirmed this as well, but according to the police, there was no creature on site. However, on the night of the incident, there were hundreds of police surrounding the area, with some in choppers in the sky, which makes the whole thing very suspicious. The conflicting reports raise questions about the validity and nature of the alleged alien sighting. 
Residents remain divided on the credibility of the incident, sparking debates and speculation within the community. Having seen this footage, what do you also think? Oh boy, it sounds like we've got ourselves a creature feature straight out of a swampy horror movie. The creature, by all accounts, has a face that's a bizarre blend of fishy features, a fish-like face and mouth, black eyes staring into the void, and no suggestion of a nose. Now that's a catch that does not qualify for dinner. What in the world could this be? Is it a mutant fish, an undiscovered species, or perhaps something straight out of a horror movie? Now that's adorable, right? That's clearly a baby shark enjoying itself out there. But wait, it gets scary and quite upsetting really quickly. Yeah, I told you, that didn't last at all. The clip went from cute and cuddly to big and dangerous real quick. The wild is truly wild, and you don't want to mess with it. This is definitely an incredible and rare piece of footage. It's a shame that little one had to die, though. Talk about a mid-air mystery that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Imagine being on a plane looking out of the window and suddenly noticing that the propeller seems frozen in time, not doing the usual spin that provides reassurance during a flight. It's that kind of sight that can make your heart skip a beat, and that's what happened to our unfortunate cinematographer for this clip. A little alarmed, our vigilant passenger took out his phone to film it, but something even stranger occurred. In the video, the propeller was still, but when he moved the phone, the propeller began to function. This was quite strange, but it appears that the mysterious interplay between the human eye, the camera lens, and the spinning propeller creates a visual illusion that plays tricks on our perception. So fear not, the plane isn't defying the laws of aviation, it's just an optical illusion. A Facebook user posted this disturbing image that has left netizens scratching their heads. The person had taken a picture of the Pipestone Monument, unaware of what was on top of the stone, until he took a second look at the image, and there it was. A strange-looking figure comes into view, standing at the edge of the rock and seemingly peering down. When the image is zoomed in, this mysterious figure takes on an otherworldly appearance, almost like a ghostly presence, pale face and long hair. Now there is a cemetery not far from the area, so people believe that it could be the spirit of a native child standing there or another spirit from the cemetery. But what do you guys think? So picture this, there's a dude out hiking in the woods, just enjoying nature's wonders. Suddenly, his eyes catch something bizarre, a creature strolling the path up ahead. Now, you know this guy couldn't resist the call of curiosity, so he decides to play detective and starts chasing after the enigmatic being. But here's where it gets intense, my friends. As our brave adventurer gets closer, he begins to realize that what he's chasing after is no ordinary critter. Nope, this thing defies all labels and categories. It's like a riddle wrapped in a mystery. The creature standing tall at a whopping seven to eight feet is a hulking beast. I'm talking muscles on muscles, folks. And get this, it's covered head to toe in brown fur, giving off some serious ape vibes. But here's the kicker. It's running on two legs with its massive arms effortlessly swinging through the trees like they're twigs in the wind. Can you imagine witnessing that? Now hold on tight, because it gets even more hair-raising. As the chase heats up, the creature senses its pursuer hot on its tail and picks up the pace. It's desperate to shake off its persistent shadow. But guess what? Our gutsy hiker refuses to back down. He's like a dog with a bone determined to uncover the truth. But here's the heart-stopping moment. The creature suddenly comes to a halt and starts pacing among the trees, unleashing bone-chilling growls that could make your blood freeze. 
It's at that very moment that our hiker realizes he's come face to face with the legendary Bigfoot. Yeah, you heard me right. Bigfoot. Luckily, the pacing giant eventually calms down and bolts away, leaving our intrepid hiker in a state of shock and awe. I mean, who wouldn't be left dumbfounded after an encounter like that? Deep in the depths of a forgotten realm, an unspeakable horror slumbers. Its name was whispered only in hushed tones by those daring enough to delve into the realm of nightmares. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to uncover the chilling tale of a creature shrouded in darkness. In the shadows of Venezuela's Grand Sabana region, an abomination awaits, lurking in the abyss. It emerges from its lair a monstrous figure with twisted limbs and a hideous countenance. Its form, a grotesque amalgamation of unearthly proportions, strikes fear into the hearts of those unfortunate enough to behold it. This creature, concealed within the mists of myth, possesses a gaze that pierces the soul, eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. They seem to hold the secrets of the abyss itself. Its ghastly appearance, a maddening fusion of monstrous features, defies comprehension. Legends speak of its monstrous claws, sharp and serrated, capable of rending flesh from bone with ease. Its monstrous form appears to defy the laws of nature, contorting in ways that should not be possible. What nightmare birthed such a creature into existence? Prepare yourselves for the name of this abomination is none other than the Venezuelan Poodle Moth. Yes, my friends, let us cast away the Shroud of Terror and embrace the light of understanding. The Venezuelan Poodle Moth, despite its monstrous appearance, is a creature of nature, fascinating in its own right. It's a moth white in color with wings adorned with feathery structures that set it apart from its kin. Its unique physical traits captivate the imagination and have garnered attention among enthusiasts and researchers alike. But do not be deceived, for this creature is not a monster, but a wondrous product of evolution. Its fluffy exterior serves as a purpose beyond our initial apprehension. By utilizing its fluff, the Venezuelan poodle moth can dampen the sound it emits, confounding its predators, bats, making it a master of stealth in the darkness. Furthermore, within the very fibers of its fluff lies a substance akin to cellulose, playing a role in the orientation of cell expansion. It's a connection to the fundamental principles that shape life itself. So, my dear adventurers, let us marvel at the mysterious and embrace the beauty that lies within the unknown. The Venezuelan poodle moth, once shrouded in terror, reveals itself as a captivating creature, a testament to the wonders of nature's endless variety. What do you think that being is? Before you move any further, pause the video and write what you think it is in the comments section so we can confirm after. Moving on, what do you think it was? What did you write? Yes, the capture looks like the image of some wraith taken very late at night, but what if I told you it's none of these things? What if I told you there was actually a logical explanation for what you see? Well, there actually is. The figure captured in the video is nothing more than a man in a ghillie suit. For many of you, this might be a new term, but it's actually commonly used by the military to blend in with natural surroundings and vegetation during missions. This is the explanation for its bizarre look. At first glance, one might think this certainly has to be a humanoid creature that emerged from the deepest parts of the sea, but thankfully it's not. How was it captured on a trail cam then? Well, the trail cam that captured this might probably be located in a military zone used for training. Imagine not knowing about this and waking up to a dozen of these on your trail camera. You might think aliens are taking over the world or something which is exactly what the owner of this trail cam footage thought. Thankfully though, it looks like we are free at least for the next few decades until we truly encounter some alien species. That's if they exist. Late one night on a quiet, secluded farm, a farmer was stirred from his sleep by a commotion among his animals. Worried about their well-being, he quickly made his way to the source of the disturbance. Under the soft glow of the moon, he was met with an odd and unexpected sight. There, in the midst of his farm, stood a peculiar creature. 
It bore a resemblance to an emaciated baboon, its fur unkempt and tangled. The creature seemed agitated, hopping about in a manner that suggested it was disorientated or frightened. This was no ordinary encounter, and the farmer couldn't help but wonder about the identity of this mysterious being. Was it a lost animal, or perhaps something more enigmatic, a denizen of the night that rarely ventured in a human territory? Unsure what the answer might be, he posted it online to gather the opinions, thoughts, and feelings from the online community. Some thought it was only a baboon, others an otherworldly creature. When it comes to my team and me, the responses are mixed as well. We need a tiebreaker. What do you guys think it is? Tell us in the comment section. It was on May 2014 in the depths of southeast Peru that a trail cam captured something truly extraordinary. This creature, with its eerie appearance, left even seasoned explorers trembling with intrigue. As the footage unveils, we catch a glimpse of a creature that defies conventional explanation. Its form, obscured by the dense foliage, seems monstrous and otherworldly. The mind races with wild speculations. Could this be a mythical beast, a relic from a forgotten age, or an otherworldly entity that has made its home in the depths of the rainforest? The enigma deepens as reports emerge from Panama, where this same creature has been sighted and given a mysterious moniker, the short-eared dog or the short-eared Zorro. This creature, shrouded in secrecy, finds itself classified as an endangered species. Its existence is threatened by the fearsome predators that roam these rainforest realms, the ocelots, the jaguars, and the mighty pumas, formidable adversaries that could send shivers down anyone's spine. The range of this elusive creature stretches across the South American rainforest regions of Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and possibly Venezuela. It's said to inhabit the waters or seek refuge in the depths of heavy rainforests. It's every move masked in the veil of mystery. But let us shift our gaze from the realm of legends and turn our attention to the facts that lie within the depths of this creature's existence. This creature, known by the name of the short-eared dog, stands as an enigmatic species facing the threats of its natural habitat. So no, it's no paranormal being, instead an endangered species due to our recklessness. Next, we have trail cam footage that's left the owner spooked and the paranormal community intrigued. Confused about what I'm referring to? Watch the clip. Did you see it? Confusing, right? Because after watching the clip, you're still left to wonder, what did I just watch? The paranormal community has come up with some wild ideas. Some believe we may be dealing with a cryptid, but the mystery remains. How does it appear in one frame and disappear in the next? Some think it's a spirit moving in between planes, that is, our plane of reality and its own plane. That sounds interesting and plausible, but is that really the case? Well, we can say for sure. What do you think, though? What could we really be dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comments section. While driving through the woods, an unusual sight confronted this person, two figures walking ahead of their car. At first glance, these figures appear to be ordinary humans, two girls, to be precise. The driver's curiosity got the best of them, and they decided to park the car, intending to inquire about what these girls were doing in the woods at such an hour. However, when the girls turned to face the driver, something deeply unsettling unfolded. These beings, with their backs initially turned, appeared to lack facial features altogether. Their entire bodies emitted an eerie, otherworldly glow. It was as if they were luminous entities from beyond our realm. Startled by this inexplicable and unsettling encounter, the driver wasted no time in hastily departing from the scene, leaving behind a lingering question. Were these glowing beings aliens, spectral entities, or something else entirely? Tell us what you think in the comment section.
Next, we have this image that was captured by an unknown man. Looks like your everyday picture, does it not? But wait till you hear the story behind it. The image on your screen reveals a young girl looking back at the camera or an individual filming from behind a tree. If you thought that this was a girl playing hide and seek, well, we can't fault you, but turns out the story is actually something much, much darker. The individual who took the image believes we're actually seeing a ghost and not a real person. He believes that the girl in the image died in that particular forest years ago and has since not left the area because the spirit has no peace. He was creeped out by the capture and shared it. Do you want to know what my thoughts are? If this is indeed true, how many more ghosts lurk in the neighborhoods? How many spirits have we met or entertained without really knowing what they were? Some speculation surrounding this image suggest it may have been taken a long time ago and that the girl might have actually been alive when it was taken. While that sounds a bit reassuring if we're gonna go by what the uploader said, then the narrative is false. While that sounds a bit reassuring if we are going to go by what the uploader said, then the narrative is false. It's always intriguing to come across such images, but they always come with their mysterious aura and interesting twists. What do you think about the whole thing? Tell us in the comments section. For our next footage, you might want to get ready for a spine-chilling encounter caught on camera. In this airy footage captured on Vancouver Island during the Halloween season, we're presented with a mysterious phenomenon that defies explanation. A strange and ethereal smoke that materializes seemingly out of nowhere and dissipates into thin air. As we focus our attention on the screen, it becomes evident that the origin of this enigmatic smoke is shrouded in uncertainty. It defies the characteristics of normal fog or smoke from a conventional fire, leaving experts puzzled and searching for answers. The question remains, what could possibly be behind this baffling occurrence? Enter the realm of the supernatural as paranormal enthusiasts and believers in the occult came forward with their theories. Given the timing of the footage during the Halloween season, some suggest that this mysterious smoke could be a manifestation of a supernatural phenomenon. According to folklore, Halloween is a time when the boundaries between our world and the spirit realm blur, allowing creatures from the underworld to venture into our realm. While skepticism may prevail, the appearance of this peculiar smoke during this mystical time of the year certainly raises intriguing possibilities. What do you think, though? Could this be an elaborate hoax, or did we just witness the manifestation of a dark spirit on camera? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. All right, folks, buckle up for some intriguing photographic evidence that'll make your jaw drop. We've got a series of stunning pictures capturing a picturesque waterfall in Colorado. But hold on tight, because there's more to these pictures than meets the eye. Now picture this. A talented photographer snaps away, capturing the beauty of the waterfall in all its glory. Little did they know that they had an unexpected visitor in their frame. It wasn't until a friend took a closer look and pointed it out that the owner even noticed something unusual. And there it was, in one of the pictures, a massive, brown-furred creature standing on a hill by the waterside. Talk about a shocker. Naturally, they couldn't help but wonder if this majestic beast was none other than the legendary Bigfoot. They meticulously went through all the pictures taken at the same location, but none of them revealed this enigmatic brown-furred creature. That's when their suspicions reached new heights. Could this truly be a sighting of Bigfoot? Now, for all those unfamiliar, Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is said to roam the mountainous regions shrouded in mystery. Reports describe them as towering beings, standing at least eight to nine feet tall, if not more. And here we have this creature visible in that one elusive picture. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Could this be a genuine encounter with the elusive Bigfoot, or might it be something else entirely? Perhaps a moving rock playing tricks on our eyes. It's a tantalizing mystery that's got us all guessing. But what do you personally think? 
If you thought that was weird, take a look at this next footage. See anything unusual in the footage? No? Well, let's give it another look. If you're having trouble spotting anything unusual, focus on the top left of the footage. Notice those strange, unsettling movements in the top left. Do they seem natural to you? Well, the uploader is convinced these movements are far from ordinary. He saw movements resembling a face and speculated that an otherworldly creature might be stalking the deer, possibly with a sinister intent. Unsure, he posted it online, seeking the opinions of other trail cam owners and, of course, the members of the paranormal community responded. To them, whatever that is, it's anything but normal. Their suspicion? A dogman lurking in the shadows, eyeing the deer as its next meal. Take a third look at the footage. You can't fault them for thinking that. After all, does it not look like there's a real predator lurking in the shadows? The video was tagged as a modern dogman sighting, and this naturally caused it to blow up. On the flip side, some trail cam experts dismissed the dogman theory as unnecessary. To them, the creature was nothing more than a squirrel moving in the tree. After closely examining the footage, I can understand their perspective, but what's your take? Do you also see the dogman, or is it simply a case of mistaken identity? This intriguing footage captured in the woods offers a rather bizarre but unique sight. Amidst the natural surroundings, we see a figure that appears to be clinging to a tree with its entire body resembling the texture of tree bark. It looks as though it had been in a perpetual tug of war with the tree for an extended period. Naturally, the one who filmed it thought it was an interesting shot and shared it online to hear people's thoughts and ideas of what it could be. Some argued that it was not a living being, but rather a carving or sculpture designed to closely resemble a human figure. Some wanted to believe it was alien. Some also subscribe to the idea that it's digitally manipulated. If you ask me what I thought about the whole thing, I'd say the hypothesis of it being a carving might not be too far off. It's possible that this carving holds significance in local folklore or legends, but without more context, its story remains a mystery. What do you think, though? Speaking of mysterious captures, if you have a footage and clips you want to show on this channel, don't hesitate to send them in. If you're unsure of what you captured, don't worry, I'm sure the thousands of subscribers who watch the videos could help you make sense of it. Simply send it in to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. Moving on. Let's dive into the intriguing world of perception and speculation, where a single image can ignite the imagination and spark a whirlwind of theories. In this captivating photograph captured by a wildlife photographer, we're presented with an image that has sent the paranormal community into a frenzy of speculation and conjecture. As we examine the image closely, we begin to unravel the truth behind the enigmatic creature in question. What may have initially appeared to be a cryptid or a shape-shifting being, upon further inspection, reveals itself to be something far more commonplace, a hairless, rare end of a mouse. It's fascinating how our perceptions can play tricks on us, leading to imaginative interpretations and theories. The initial excitement and inclination towards extraordinary explanations can often lead us astray. However, when we take a step back and truly examine the details, we realize that sometimes the simplest explanation is the correct one. In this case, the image showcases a harmless earthly creature with its head bent into the grass, likely engaged in its natural behavior of grazing. It serves as a reminder that not every unusual sight is a supernatural phenomenon or a creature that defies explanation. Don't get me wrong, there are some really terrifying creatures out there that don't belong here, but this is not one of them. All right, folks, get ready for another mystery that'll leave you scratching your heads. We've got some intriguing footage capturing a furry creature standing in a field. Now, this one is a tough nut to crack. Let's dive in and see if we can unravel the enigma. 
At first glance, it's challenging to determine what creature we're dealing with here. Some folks suggest it might be a dog, but there's something that just doesn't quite add up for me. Identifying this elusive creature becomes even trickier due to its uncertain position. Is it on all fours or is it lying down? It's like a game of hide and seek, making it hard to discern the head or limbs. But from what I can gather, I have a different theory. To me, it appears more akin to an ape. There's a certain posture and stance that evoke images of our primate cousins. However, the final verdict is up to you. So let's hear it from all of you. Take a good look at the picture and share your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you see in this mysterious image? Is it a dog, an ape, or perhaps something entirely different? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Still on the odd looking and bizarre, what do you reckon this is? At first glance, one might think it's a bear. But once the footage is zoomed in, you realize that while it might have a body reminiscent of a bear, that creature is no bear. It appears to have what looks like horns on its head. Beyond that, it also appears to be moving on all twos like a humanoid would, albeit with a slight bend. Seeing this image in our mailbox was a real thrill, even though it might be a bit spooky in person. Is this a new type of cryptid? Is it some variation of the Bigfoot, or is this a new bear hybrid? It's hard to say, but we can't wait for the subscriber who sent this in to revisit the location and send in more pictures. Until then, what do you think we're dealing with? Have you ever seen a creature like this? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We'd love to hear them. This spectacle, captured in a shot, reveals an intriguing moment in a lush green landscape with coiled and angled branches. At the center of attention is a white or gray-looking animal with its rear facing the trail camera. While it resembles a member of the cat family, identifying the exact species remains a mystery. It could potentially be a variety of creatures, including wild cats or even domestic cats, to determine the species accurately. Further details and clearer views of the animal's characteristics would have to be necessary. Nature often surprises us with its diversity, and this sighting adds to the intrigue of the natural world. If more information becomes available or if viewers have insights, it might help clarify the identity of this enigmatic creature. Until then, we can only guess and guess we will. Tell me what you believe you are seeing. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next, we have this trail cam capture that we aren't quite sure of what it could be. As I mentioned earlier, there are creatures that do not seem to belong to our world, and this particular image is a perfect example. The sight of the creature in the image should give you chills. The creature in question has dark fur and hind legs, reminiscent of a quadrupedal animal. The creature is standing on its hind legs and looks hunched. It doesn't seem to have a neck, making it look like the head is attached to the shoulders. The head has a strange and indescribable shape, and its eyes are oval-shaped and completely white, lacking any discernible irises or pupils. It looks like something straight out of a horror movie, or perhaps even an alien. While I wish I could dismiss it as a person in a costume or a product of photo editing, what I'm seeing appears disturbingly real. This leaves us with many questions. What is this creature? Where did it come from? Are the inhabitants who live near where this was filmed safe? So many questions. But hey, I'm dying to know what you make of all this. What's your take on this spine-chilling creature captured on that trail cam? Hold on tight, my friends, because we're about to delve into another spine-chilling encounter. This time, we find ourselves in Catalonia, Spain, with a camera capturing a sight in the depths of the woods. And as luck would have it, there are rangers present documenting this hair-raising encounter. So, let's set the scene. The camera captures the presence of a creature rumored to be another cryptid lurking in the shadows. As is often the case, the rangers find themselves face to face with the unknown, ready to uncover the truth. The footage reveals a creature with a ghostly, pale appearance, sending chills down your spine. Its eyes emit an ethereal glow, captivating yet unnerving. But that's not all. 
this creature possesses a shockingly emaciated body, moving with astonishing speed on all fours. It's a sight that'll make your heart skip a beat. Suddenly, the creature turns around, fixing its gaze directly on the rangers. Imagine the terror that courses through their veins at that very moment. Panic sets in as they frantically run and scream, unable to shake off the tension caused by the creature's abrupt movement. It's a situation that doesn't bode well for the rangers filming this eerie footage in the depths of the woods, especially at such a bewitching hour. Now, these questions linger in the air. What is this cryptid creature after? Could it be a fallen celestial being, or a creature from another realm, or perhaps it's just a cleverly orchestrated hoax? We can't say for sure, but what do you think? Birds are very jumpy animals, and the slightest movement could get them flying away. So tell me why this little birdie hopped on this rider's bicycle in the woods. It was almost as if this trippy avian had some kind of message. Maybe it thought our cyclist had overstayed their welcome, like the woodland guardian saying, Hey buddy, the forest isn't your personal hangout spot. Or perhaps this was Mother Nature's reminder that we humans are just visitors in her grand domain. Who knows what went on in the mind of that little bird? Maybe it fancied the bicycle as the latest in avian-approved purchase. Have you ever taken a walk down a dark path and instantly regretted it? Well, I know I have, but I doubt it in any way compares to the next footage I'm about to show you. What do you think that creature is? Well, if you are clueless, then you aren't the only one. At first glance, it might seem like a mountain lion, but after a few seconds, you'll notice it's longer than any mountain lion should be. It almost looks like a human being moving on all fours, albeit without any human-like features. Many who saw the footage believed it was a skinwalker, and the uploader seems to think so too. He mentions that there are many legends of skinwalkers in the area, but it was not until he encountered what you were seeing on your screen that he started to believe that the legends might be true. That's his personal assertion, though. What do you see when you look at the footage? Do you see a skinwalker too, or are we simply blowing things out of proportion? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, as we'd love to hear them. Brace yourselves for some seriously unsettling footage that'll make you question what lurks in the shadows. So get this. There's this town, right? And on their security footage, they capture something straight out of a nightmare. Picture a creature that appears like a starved dog, all bony and emaciated. Now here's the thing, my friends. Don't be fooled by its malnourished appearance. This thing may look weak, but it's a force to be reckoned with. We're talking about a creature that can take down a full-grown bull and devour it whole. Yeah, you heard me right. But that's not even the scariest part. This creature, when it slinks into towns, goes after stray dogs. It attacks them, leaving them injured or, in some cases, lifeless. It's like a nightmare come to life. Now, let's talk about its legs, creepy as can be. The hind legs resemble something almost human but with dog-like features. And the front legs? Well, they're just hanging there, suspended in the air. Strange, huh? While there are accounts that prove this thing is real, a part of me wants to believe it's not. It feels like it might all be made up and the creature we are seeing is nothing but CGI. But perhaps that's just me being a skeptic. What do you think? In the realm of the untamed, where the wild and the unknown collide, encounters with majestic creatures hold an air of mystery. Imagine finding yourself in the presence of a wolf, the embodiment of nature's untamed spirit. In such moments, instinct kicks in, and we seek refuge in hiding, silently hoping to remain unseen by these enigmatic beings. But what if, against all odds, the unexpected occurs? In this mesmerizing video, we bear witness to a wolf's leisurely stroll through its domain, seemingly lost in its own world. Unbeknownst to the wolf, a lady stands silently, observing its every move. 
It's as if an unseen connection sparks between them, an unspoken exchange in the depths of the wild. Then the lady breaks the silence, uttering a few words. The wolf, caught off guard, startles and swiftly retreats from the encounter. A brief moment of connection and tension, leaving us with more questions than answers. What secrets lie within the depths of the wolf's mind? What drew its attention to the lady's voice, piercing through the wild like a whispered enchantment? In the dance between predator and observer, there are subtleties at play. The lady's choice of clothing, blending seamlessly with the natural hues of her surroundings, granted her temporarily invisible to the eyes of the wolf. And the wind, carrying her scent away, veiled her presence, preventing detection. A threatened or nervous wolf may unleash its voice upon the air, barking and howling to assert its presence and protect its territory. And when faced with human intrusion, the wolf may cautiously monitor their every move, observing from a safe distance until they are no longer a threat. To gain the attention of a wolf in its domain, a wave or deliberate action may catch its discerning gaze. This will prevent it from being suddenly startled and prevent any unpredictable behavior. As magnificent as these creatures are, if you ever met one in the wild, remember they are no house dog and respect their boundaries. If you thought things couldn't get any creepier, oh boy, are you wrong. Imagine walking into the woods and coming across this. In this footage, we stumble upon a truly bizarre find in broad daylight, an enigmatic miniature figure carved from wood or possibly a dried up creature. Its features are like anything we've ever seen before. Four small breasts, a round head, hat-like ears, extra toes, and curled fingers. Based on its rigid and unmoving appearance, it's highly likely that this is a statue or a piece of art deliberately placed in the woods. The figure's purpose and origin remain shrouded in mystery, leaving us with a plethora of intriguing questions. Naturally, the explorer who came across it wanted to investigate some more, but the eerie presence and nature of the figure discouraged him. This caused him to leave the area with more questions than answers. We're relieved he prioritized his safety, but the mystery of what this figure is and why it's in the woods still intrigues us. Do you have an idea? Do you have answers? Please share in the comments section as we'd really love to crack this enigma. Thank you in advance. Dinosaurs are extinct, right? I mean, it's a basic fact and everyone knows it. Our next clip, however, challenges that hypothesis. Watch. In the dead of night, the video reveals a tree and a source of light, but what steals the show is the sudden appearance of a figure that moves in a way reminiscent of an extinct dinosaur. The creature seems to have its head held high and its tail wagging much like a dinosaur's motion. However, dinosaurs are widely believed to be extinct for millions of years. Some experts think the figure in the video could be something else entirely, possibly a small dog. They think the quality of the footage makes it appear the way it does, something along the lines of an optical illusion. The footage was captured by Christina Ryan's security camera, and she refuses to believe it's not a dinosaur. She's very convinced that the creature is a raptor. What do you think, though? Share your thoughts and speculations in the comments section. Deep within a remote forest where nature's secrets whisper among the trees, a captivating discovery awaits. Behold, mysterious footprints etched into the earth, as if a creature of myth and legend once graced this sacred ground. The soil tells its tale, revealing that the imprints were made when the ground was damp, now dried up in the passage of time. As I ponder the origin of these enigmatic tracks, a sense of wonder takes hold. Could this be the work of Bigfoot, that elusive giant said to roam these lands? Or do these prints belong to a creature yet undiscovered, lurking beyond the realms of our knowledge? The possibilities dance in our imaginations, reminiscent of the intrigue woven in tales like Bridge to Terabithia. As we tread the path of curiosity, a question lingers in the air. Are we delving into realms of fantasy, seeking more than what truly exists? Or is it possible that alongside the familiar animals of this natural world, a mythical creature finds its place hidden in plain sight? Tell us what you think. 
Oh boy, hold on to your hats because we've got a seriously eerie sighting captured on the trail cam. Prepare yourselves, folks, because this creature is a real head turner. Now, take a good look at this image. What on earth is that? It's an ugly creature, no doubt about it. Those claws, ooh, yikes. They resemble something straight out of Edward Scissorhands, but that's just the beginning, my friends. This creature has a bizarre combination of human-like features mixed with something more sinister. From the hair to the eyes and lower lips, it almost appears human. But, oh, that nose. The creature also sports a colossal snout reminiscent of a pig, only much larger. I mean, seriously, it's like a goblin come to life. Whoever came up with this Halloween costume, well, let's just say they must have not been giving out candies that night, because let me tell you, the mere sight of this creature would scare the living daylights out of anyone. So, my brave souls, what are your thoughts on this chilling entity? Is it a creature spawned from our worst nightmares or perhaps just an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts, your fears, and let's navigate through the realm of the supernatural together. In this intriguing video, a courageous man finds himself in an undisclosed location standing amidst a vast landscape with an abundance of lush green plants. However, the particular area where he's standing appears to be barren, with only a green sack in his hand. What makes this scene all the more remarkable is the action that unfolds next. The man upends the sack, causing a collection of snakes to spill out on the ground. Without hesitation, he discards the sack, crouches down, and proceeds to handle the snakes with his bare hands. As he does so, the snakes quickly disperse in various directions. The exact location of this video and the specific species of snakes involved remain undisclosed, leaving viewers with a sense of mystery. The man's audacious act of handling these snakes barehanded is indeed an alarming sight to behold and it raises numerous questions. What motivated him to undertake this endeavor and what message or symbolism might be associated with this unusual act? Was he aided by some voodoo or is it purely skill? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. What do you think this is? If you said dragon, I wouldn't blame you because that's exactly what came to mind when I saw these remains. The discovered remains exhibit a strikingly large number of bones resembling the skeletal structure of an enormous sea snake or serpent-like creature. I mean, how many creatures do you know that look like that? If it was an isolated incident, well, we could call it a hoax. But in recent discovery in the Yucatan Peninsula, explorers have reported the unearthing of peculiar remains that some believe may be linked to ancient sea creatures often mythologized as dragons. These remarkable findings have led to various speculations within the scientific community and the general public. The Yakutan Peninsula, known for its diverse geological formations, has previously yielded fossils dating back to the Ice Age. Could these be the necessary proof that dragons existed in the region back then? I mean, we have got the fossils and then we have got the Chinese lore on these creatures. There's no way it's just a mere coincidence now, is it? Share your thoughts. Ever heard of hand fishing? Well, it's as the name goes, fishing with your bare hands. This type of fishing has been trending quite recently, and as absurd as it sounds, people have been able to catch all kinds of fish using this method. However, we have a man who was quite unfortunate. The man went hand fishing and caught a hammerhead shark, more like he offered his hand as lunch to the fish. As soon as the fish grabs on his arm, it doesn't let go. You can see him thrashing around in pain. However, a few observations were made on this footage. Hammerheads have sub-sharp teeth that would have bitten off his hand already, meaning this is fake footage. But what do you think? Because at first, I thought the shark had got it. Either way, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. 
Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think that we should probably feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also credit you with it, unless of course you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.